In this video, I'm gonna cover how to learn yoga online at home. There are some really common pitfalls that most people fall into and I want you to avoid these. So let's jump in and take a closer look at how to best learn yoga at home online. The one thing most of us struggle with is consistently showing up. Life is so busy and there are so many distractions. And so it's important for you to get into a regular routine. I would highly suggest you try and carve out the same time on the same day to actually do your yoga practice and make it something that becomes just part of your routine. Once it's part of your routine, you're more likely to actually show up on the mat and stay committed long term. And that's really key to getting the results. We want regular practice. And just while I'm on this note, once a week is plenty. There's research that shows that once a week will absolutely move the needle. So I don't want you to get too caught up in your head that you have to be doing it X amount of times a week and then really beating up on yourself. That's not gonna help you. You wanna celebrate small wins. So once a week even, if that's all you can manage right now, but I want you to set that time aside, book it into your diary, into your calendar, set a little reminder and that'll get you going and consistent. The second thing I want to share with you about finding some success with learning yoga online at home is getting into a little yoga ritual. Now what do I mean by this? Maybe you set your mat up in the same place every time you practice. Maybe you have a special yoga candle or incense or oil burner or essential oil or some sort of little routine that you go about getting yourself set up for your practice. This is a fabulous way to actually start calming the nervous system down, getting your body and your mind prepared for your yoga practice. It becomes something that's enjoyable. It becomes something that's special and it becomes you time. And this is really, really important because for the most part, we all really struggle to get very present and really prepare ourselves as we're rushing, rushing, rushing through the day and then all of of a sudden yoga just becomes another thing that we need to tick off the list and so setting up a little ritual and really organizing your space and organizing your time it becomes something that is really sacred for you and so that's what I want to encourage you to do set up your little yoga space so we can get going third thing I want to cover with you as far as getting started to learn yoga online at home is getting the foundations down pat. So this is key because even if you've been going for some time and you've started and stopped your practice several times, it's important that you've got a really, really good foundation, that you've had all of the essentials explained to you, that you've had the chance to actually understand where your body is right now. And so doing some sort of beginner's course is really key. Now, I want you to listen to me, even if you've been going for six to 12 months, I want you to do a beginner's course with someone who's really experienced and who will explain everything to you so that you can actually get the basics mastered. What happens for a lot of students, I see it all the time, both in the studio and online, is that they move in leaps and bounds. They throw themselves into intermediate classes or advanced classes, and they don't really have that basis that keeps their body one, safe, and two, is going to ensure that they get maximum progress out of their classes. And so this is key. Please, if you take nothing else away from this, I need you to do a really, really good, solid yoga basics or yoga beginners or yoga foundation course with a very experienced teacher who can break it all down for you and explain it all really concisely. It'll help. 
The next thing I want to cover for you on your journey to learning yoga online at home is getting your technology sorted. Now this one can take a little while. There are a number of factors here. One, you might be able to connect into a big screen so you can actually see everything really effectively. But the most important thing is the audio. So you really want to be able to hear. And it's different for everyone all of my students work with different technologies. Some of them use the wireless headphones connected to their laptop and they don't necessarily need to see a big visual. They like to hear more than they see. Other students project it onto a massive screen, which is a little bit scary for me, but um, they're very visual learners, so they like to see it projected really nice and big. And then of course also the angle at which you're placing your technology is important as well. So if you are referencing the screen, just make sure that in your yoga practice you're not in a position where you're having to crank through your neck to look at the screen as well. So these little things are important. What you'll find in my classes is that I have very, very solid um, verbal cues. So you can almost close your eyes for the entire class and just listen to my instructions as opposed to having to see me visually. But of course, there are also some tutorial videos in there where you can sit down and actually watch those tutorials move through them and learn from them, which is also massively helpful. So you wanna get your technology sorted, find out what you're gonna to use to actually absorb this information to take these classes and how you're gonna set it all up. The final thing I wanna share with you and quite possibly the most important thing is to show up live whenever you can. So maybe live classes don't necessarily work with your schedule right now, that's fine. Maybe you can only make one live class a month, but you want to make sure that every now and then you're attending a live session. It's why on my platform, I do a combination of recordings and live sessions. Because when I can see you in a live session, I can give you direct feedback. I can actually support you with direct modifications. Maybe there's something you're stuck with. You know, maybe you're finding there's a part of your body that's not responding, that's not moving in a certain way. That's something you can cover in a live session with a really experienced teacher. And so this is the value in actually carving out that time occasionally. Like I said, it might only happen every now and then because I know you're busy, but whenever you can, please show up live. The other beautiful thing about showing up live is the community. And you know, knowing that there are loads of other people out there that are also practicing and that are also struggling with very similar things. So it's so valuable. It's one of my favorite, favorite things about teaching online is actually getting to see you move and breathe. So if you ever wanna pop into a live class, you know where to find me, jump on the platform and join me. I hope that video was really helpful. The key thing I want you to take away now is that yoga is for everybody and there's a practice that's suitable for everybody and you can do it online very successfully. In fact, it's such a convenient way to practice and to stay on track. So go ahead, check out the platform, have a look around. I would so love to have you as part of the community and in there with me on the mat, moving and breathing. I'll see you soon. Thank you.